I'm a pretty competitive person. My husband and I have enjoyed playing a lot of different games in our 12 years of marriage. I usually win most of the games. Actually, I always win all the games, whether it's video games, board games, speed games, and even Mercy, I win. I always win. However, one thing I know about marriage and games is that there are some unhealthy or petty games that once we start playing, they can become a problem and things can quickly spiral out of control. I'm talking about games like the blame game. You know, blaming your spouse for things that have nothing to do with your current problems. Or how about this game, the silent treatment? Let's see who can make the strongest case for their side by going the longest without saying anything. Or how about this one, mind games? You know, the one where we expect our spouse to be able to read our minds, and if and when they actually do read it correctly, we tell them they're wrong anyways. And yeah, my competitive side just makes things worse. If I lose, I don't feel great. And even if I win these types of games, I definitely don't feel like a winner. So I try my best to avoid certain games and remind myself of this passage. Ephesians 5 verse 21 says, Submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. I'm learning that marriage works best when two people are playing a game of mutual submission and each person is submitting to Christ Jesus. Each spouse wants what's best for the other. Instead of blaming one another, we are accepting responsibility for what we can control. We are listening, empathizing, and understanding each other. Instead of the silent treatment, we are making it a point to communicate in a way that our spouse can hear us. Instead of playing mind games, we are openly expressing our desires and wishes, but not turning them into expectations that may leave us disappointed. What's interesting is, the more we submit to Christ, the more we represent Him to each other in our marriage, in our house, when the conversations sound like, you go first, no, you go first, that I know things are working well. In your home, what words do you say or hear in conversation that sound like they would come from Jesus?